shoot em ups. Boy, do I have a general distaste towards shoot 'em up games. They feel one dimensional, the gameplay tends to be too simple, and they are often way too difficult. Viewpoint is basically all of those things, but somehow stays fun. Viewpoint is a shoot 'em up with a twist, at least for its time. It's isometric and gives the illusion of a 3D environment in a 2D era. It was developed by ICOM and published by Sammy, who later merged with Sega. Viewpoint unfortunately seems to have fallen into obscurity due to the Neo Geo version being the best release. It was later ported to more popular platforms like Genesis and PlayStation 1. However, there were enough changes from the original that it really changed the experience. The Neo Geo multi-video system version is often considered the best release. The biggest difference between the Neo Geo MBS and Neo Geo CD versions is the load times, whereas carts just load faster than CDs. Also, I don't have a Neo Geo CD at the moment. As we jump into the first level, we're greeted with a familiar atmosphere in a lot of shoot 'em up games. It's a spacey themed level, and it looks very sci fi. It's a great choice for a theme in the first level, as it keeps it familiar for veterans of the genre and looks different enough for casual players to appreciate the art direction. For a first level, it's actually pretty difficult, but not unfair. Due to it being a coin-op game, it's meant to squeeze out all the coins from unattended children at the bowling alley arcade because dad wanted to shoot some balls with the boys. Another layer of the difficulty can be attributed to the pseudo 3D viewpoint. It can be difficult to adjust to a fake 3D environment that lets you move forward, back, left, or right. It makes aiming hard at first. Despite the challenging road ahead, the music is fantastic and smooth. The boss fights in this game are quite challenging. They're a bit of a damage sponge and force you to learn the boss's behavior instead of mindlessly shooting at them. Once you finally beat the first boss, you get taken to my personal favorite level, Area 2. Creative, I know. Area 2 is one of my favorite level designs in any video game. It's an ancient city that seems to have flooded. The music feels very mysterious, yet calm, and despite the electronic ambience, it fits well with the ancient ruin. The enemies here are interesting as well. There are these cool sea serpents that jump out of caverns, laser firing sea anemone, and turtles. Once you get through one of the best water levels of all time, you arrive at the boss. You're treated with... ...which is based on Japanese history. The um, stages of the game will also be based on famous battles which took, actually took place in ancient Japan. So here's this giant enemy crab. The boss is a fun time as well. It fires bubbles that split into two more bubbles when you shoot at them, so you have to fire rapidly to clear away. After that, it turns into Krang from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Phase 2. Welcome to Area 3. Area 3. I said, Area 3. One second. 
Yeah, I'm not proud of it, but this game is rough, even if it's on normal mode. I don't play many shoot 'em up games, so I'm happy enough that when I play I could get through Area 2 at least. Personally, using cheats to understand some parts of the game for future playthroughs is fine. Area 3 is like a garden level, but the garden is filled with tanks and fighter jets, as well as this cute little butterfly boss. Area 4, more like Area 51, am I right? This is an excavation site of some kind. They must be hiding some really important stuff, because this level is impossible. I feel as though no one has ever seen this level before, just due to how insane it is. This is truly the defense system of the US government. The boss is a possessed porta potty with four faces. Once we infiltrated Area 51, we move on to the second to last area. Yeah, this is just a lava level where you fight every boss again. Much like any active volcano, the final boss is a Roomba machine. This is probably my least favorite level as it seems like a cheap cop-out for difficulty. We're finally at the last level. This is a similar theme to the very first level as it's a space station as well. It's frantic and fast paced. It feels fitting to have the first and last level be similarly designed as it brings a sense of familiarity and closure. Of course, I have no skill to beat the final boss, but it's one of the most interesting boss fights I've ever encountered in a video game. It goes from this thing, to this thing, to quite possibly Satan himself. And just like that, the game's all over. For some reason, it really invokes this sense of nostalgia despite me not playing it when I was younger. The art direction and the music really reminds me of 90s anime for some reason. If you're not too into shoot 'em ups like I am, Viewpoint might be a good entry point if you want to enjoy the ride. The game ramps up in difficulty as time goes, however that motivates the player to keep trying so they get better. I guess you could say it's a matter of your viewpoint.